So today is the third, third June, and today is the third day of our this book reading of Radically Alive Beyond Abuse by Lisa Kuni. I enjoyed the book thoroughly. She just hit the nail on the head type from everywhere. I mean, like from all sides. And you start feeling that. I mean, I, I, I thought that it can apply to in every area of my life. Everywhere I've created walls of separation. Everywhere I've eliminated possibilities. Everywhere I cut off my unconsciousness. Everywhere I cut off my awareness. And I could relate to it in many different ways, not only sexually abused, but in many different ways. And I would love you to also uh, share and come out with your stories. There's one or two people who asked me to not record this. Uh, so I was wondering that you re reading this book, has it changed anything? Has it shifted anything? You would deprive people of this for what reason? Maybe your sharing will help people to go beyond. And I agree. You don't want to show your face or you don't want to name me to name you. We can do that because it's not a video. It's a audio recording. So do you agree? Some of you, I mean, more are coming. But is it OK to have it uh, recorded? You can remove your names, I mean, but this video is not going to be there. So it's audio only. So we wouldn't we wouldn't name you, but I think maybe I, I also realized last two days you people didn't come out because of their come out of their shell because they were fearful. We are all so fearful. And only you you start to blossom, you start to create beyond when you are vulnerable. What if you were out of control? How much fun can you have? Is it, am I making any sense, guys? No, I'm not. Sorry. So, any suggestions? Anybody has any suggestions? This is what I thought and I came out with it. Come on, let's see what you have to say. When you have those times in your life when everything shows up with ease, you go, wow, that's so weird. That's magical. That, that can't happen. Do you do that? What makes you feel it's weird, it's magical, it's that is that when you're being you? Nothing happens in life, guys. You create it. So would you be willing to acknowledge the magical, magnificent, brilliant creator that you are? No matter what shows up, everything is your creation. If that one thing that we get to um, acknowledge, you have to get this, guys. If you don't, you will never allow yourself to have everything you can possibly have or be everything you can possibly be.
whatever abuse, verbal abuse or sexual abuse, you created it. I'm sorry. Because you cut off your awareness somewhere. And I say, Kamal, why would I cut off my awareness? Why would I create this? Yes, I was there too. Why would you cut off your awareness in order to review, receive abuse? Unless you see it as it is and what, and what it is, you will never have people treat you any other way. If you are, if you are having people abuse, abuse you in any way, it doesn't have to be sexually, though I believe that 99.9 .9 recurring people have been abused sexually, maybe molested, maybe some way or the other. So would you own up? Would you acknowledge? Would you take the responsibility? Hi, Kavita. Hi, Manisha, Mamta. So we were talking about, I was, Hi. I was suggesting that we will not name people here because there are some people who do not want the call to be recorded and put on the YouTube. So it's, it's, a, it's a recording, it's an audio, it's not a video. So we won't name people and people can share if they want to. And you are as sick as your secrets. Would you want to come out? This is a chance. This is the opportunity. This is the possibility. Choice is what frees you from it. What choice would create magic in your life? What choice will free you? Okay. Nobody wants to talk. I am committed for one day more. I will talk and I love talking. Even if, even if anybody is listening. If you don't want to come out with it, it's okay. You will get it when you get it. Would you like to be the greatness of you unapologetically? And it's not a wrongness. Whatever you received, whatever you went through, If there was nothing, there was no wrong, there was no right, where would you be? These are some of the questions that you can ask. She, what I read the whole book and I saw that uh, it really is the cage that we put ourselves in. Nobody outside is ever bothered about where you are and what you are doing. Everybody is bothered. You go for a a party, you go to a wedding, nobody looks at you. They only have bothered about if anybody is looking at them. And you are doing the same thing. Who cares? Can you be that bindas? Would you allow yourself to be that bindas? What energy, space, consciousness, awareness, possibility, choice, and is joy glory? Can you choose now? That will set you free and everybody around you free. Everything that doesn't allow that, to be present with that, to be aware with that, to be conscious, to choose. Every choice, there is no chutti, Gary says, and I also say, copied, copied him, <laughs> that there is no chutti from consciousness. 
with all the insanity going around in the world, you don't have to choose that. You always have a choice. What would you like to choose? This is one of the greatest gift of access consciousness that I receive. I'm grateful to Gary and Dale and the tools. Actually, the more crazy and more insane it gets, it pushes you in the corner, forces you to see who you are. Because if it's a little bit of thing, you don't even bother to know who you are. You're just zombie sleepwalking into life. You never even know what's true for you. But when you're just like pushed into the corner, you say, come on, now is the time. That is when you will choose you. So you don't have to wait for that long, honestly. Just what else is possible now? First, acknowledge everything that you have troubles you, that pushes your button. Acknowledge there is something there I need, require to let go of, to see myself. That requires super awareness. What would you like to choose now? So then it says, she says about, she talks about judgment. In access, we say judgment is the killer. Judgment of yourself or judgment of somebody else is a killer. You would do that because we have learned it. We have seen it growing up. We've been told. Judgment is, our, is in our DNA. How much have we bought into that tells us that you must judge? Otherwise, you wouldn't know what to choose. Otherwise, you wouldn't know what to do. Is that really true? Anybody here wants to be vulnerable? Anybody here wants to get free, I should say? Every year we bought this lie that we need to judge to create. Would you be willing to destroy, revoke, recant, resend, reclaim, renounce, denounce, destroy, and uncreate it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pod, all nine shots. Boys, powads, and beyond. Guys, this is a clearing statement. I'm sure all of you know it, but anybody who listens to you, it online, uh, for them, go to clearing statement, theclearingstatement.com. You will get the clarity of what it is. But even if you don't, this is a magic wand, and you uh, can choose to use it. It works. And many people here will let you know it works. Does it work, guys? Who am I talking to, Ranjana? Yes, thank you. At least somebody, even if they didn't show their face, they didn't talk, they... Yes, Kabbal, it really works. Yeah, it really works. Yes. So where would you like me to read from? If you would like me to read, if you don't want to share, I can go on blabbering. I'm very good at that. That's my strongness I found out. All my life I thought that was my wrongness. <laughs> there was a lot about judgment. So let's, we can read that. Let me see where it is. Finding would be, anybody can let me know where it is if they found it. Or anything else, anybody underlined, we can talk about that too. Local, let's read about judgment. 
You know where it is, uh, darling? No, no, I don't have the book, but when you said about the judgment. I should have taken it out, no? It just came to me now. But to do. Well, maybe the topics at the, at the beginning would be. Where's the beginning? Anybody else has any question we can do here? Yeah? Let's not, I, I, while I'm finding it. No question, Chutti, bye-bye. We can go home. Nobody read this? Anybody read this honestly? Truth. Who read this? Anything. Anything. Even one page. Here comes Manisha. I'm sure she's read it. She's a very good so student. Well, uh, judgment is on, uh, I think I just joined, uh, 60%. Okay. From judgment to kindness. And I think there's lots about judgment. Yeah, sixty percent is a judgment, and sixty-one percent. Okay, so from judgment to kindness. Yeah. Judgment is the opposite of expansion. It's a form of constriction and limitation, and a pervasive form of self-abuse. When you judge another. You are actually defending, disconnecting, denying, and disassociating from what you are not willing to see about yourself. If any question comes up, please stop me. Judgment keep, keeps you lying to, your, to you and locks you back into the invisible cage of abuse, which keeps you locked away from you, from others, from living and certainly from creating the life you desire. When you judge yourself, you become your own eternal jailer. There is a lot about eternal jailer in access. And further lock yourself into the wrongness of you. Judgment returns you to the comfort of what you know, how bad you are, how wrong you are. And guarantees that you never have to be more than you are right now. It solidifies the invisible cage of abuse. Judgment keeps you small and struggling, victim-like and powerless, armored and numb. As a result, you stop generating and creating beyond the cage instead. You perpetrate you and keep the abuse circle going. In any area of your life, if you're doing that, would you be willing now to acknowledge that and let it go? It's just that's what's required. It's no hard work, guys. How is this a kindness to you or to anyone else? The only way to get beyond the cage and into the energy of expansion is to get beyond judgment. And there are six steps that can help you. I know it's easy said than done. It's so entrained. It's in our DNA. That's what pops up every time. And humanoids will judge them more. Before they judge others. Mm. 
just a line popped up girl judgment is stopping receiving you know yeah that also i think she writes in ahead maine maine padha thi par mujhe aise aayi na main is whenever you are with humans you make yourself wrong you keep trying to come close to them fit in but you can't you time. have a different wavelength how can you align with that and you don't align with that you make yourself wrong you will do everything you can to try to be like them everywhere you've done that would you be willing to let that go now please is now the time so six steps to access this space of no judgment sit in a quiet space close your eyes and take a few deep breaths what happens when you take few deep breaths let's do it now just take few three three deep breaths everybody does that you do yoga they do that you go to anything they say take deep breaths what does what happens when you take deep breaths can anybody tell me first thing um, is is in the body come brings us back to the present brings you back to the present is and all that all that tape is the monkey mind is running it little lessens quietens awareness get more aware you let, you tend to look at the bigger picture anybody else so choose that guys every time there's a contraction every time there is that churning in the stomach every time there is you have lost yourself just stand there for 2 seconds and take a deep breath two three deep breaths you will come back to who you truly be please choose that second expand your energy into the earth that is another exercise we do this one is saying to expand it to the earth you can also expand to the earth and also to the whole of universe you are the universe when you expand out you will see yourself everywhere you are everywhere and then your little problems become so irrelevant they don't have any power over you then and earth is always we call it mother earth don't we it's always there to support us no matter what we have abused it used it it still supports you always and what would be possible if you were with one with it what else could could you achieve and receive know yourself more maybe offer your judgments to the earth as a contribution gary says every morning get up in the morning and whatever the earth requires spread your arms gather all the energy ask the earth whatever you require here receive it 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 all. all your judgments you can give to the earth all your garbage you can give to the earth people say why should you give garbage to the earth but that's the manure for it all your shit literally earth welcomes it doesn't it we go that's just the way it is it won't change aisa hi hai se rehna padega meri kismat mein hi likha hai my karma is like that when you say all that it does it lighten up your world truth does it lighten up your please answer some of you one of you or is not fun we can we can leave it guys if it's not fun we can we can we can stop the it's it's in our hands we can close the call 
if it does it's not making any sense if it's not contributing in any way let's forget about it our abhi to ye dusri language lagti hai mere karma aisa hai waisa not sorry don't think this is my language no more i know it seems uh, shit ye, it's yeah. not light because when you ask it's very heaviness ho rahi hai you know nothing is not yeah and in this book i think the last chapter she talks about lightness and heavy light is right only one thing you come to know light is right you will be on the track of creating your life the way you would like to have not the way everybody lives or when uh, people say all these things in this reality unka jawab dene ko man nahi karta because you don't know not required you you neither want to align and agree nor want to resist and react yeah and you don't need to change them they will change when they change they will never change the conditions under which they live they don't they are satisfied they'll stay there until they choose this different Yeah. They will go to the doctor blindly and have all the medicine. And if you are humanoid, you will question. Most of the Gary says, if you are a humanoid, most of the medicine on this planet don't work for you. No, you don't need doctor anymore. No, yeah, but if Much. you do, you don't. you don't require yeah, don't make us if you do you don't have any point of view there's no right and wrong yeah 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 like earlier i would take medicine for headache bukhar ka bhi amas ko chi okay koi catric hai ya aankhon ka hai haddi toot gayi to jaana doctor ke paas but the small little things you can ask yeah yeah If you are aware, you would choose what works for you rather than what everybody says. Yeah, guys, if there's anything yes. you, I'm saying it again. Maybe you'll call me stupid. If there's anything that is irking, if there's anything you would want to share, please be vulnerable. It will create. It will let set you free. Don't hold yourself back. how often do you get the possi- possibility and opportunity <clears throat> to step forward the purpose of this conversation is not to judge anybody in fact it is to stop judging you and recognize that you are different there is nothing wrong with you every way we made any any incident that happened to us good bad or the ugly and made ourselves wrong or right would you be willing to destroy and untrade it all right wrong good bad pop pod on my shorts boys for wads and beyond so offer your judgment to the earth as a contribution open up to receiving the contribution the earth can be for you now you know nobody else can tell you what that contribution would be go walk in the in in nature go hug a tree go sit under a tree go lie on the grass what you receive maybe be completely different from what the other person receives open up to receiving the contribution the earth can be for you acknowledging that the earth can be a contribution that also we don't know we don't even learn, allow us to know that earth can be a contribution to us that the universe has our back bring your energy back into yourself without your your judgments that's deep breathing i think anybody else gets anything what would that be bring your energy back into yourself without your judgments notice you notice what you are aware of the earth is the one place where judgment can't reside 
is the place you can return to again and again to release your judgment and feel the peace and possibility of expansion. It's actually a kindness to gift your judgments to the earth. By gifting the manure of judgment to the earth, you fertilize a new possibility for yourself and for everyone else. How beautiful is that? In the space of no judgment is, kind, is kindness. Kindness is the truth of who you be and what you have always been. You are kind. You are an infinite being. You have all, all, all of the um, qualities, abilities, capabilities that God has. Your God's walking on earth resides in you. That's a big thing. But did it feel light? When you said yes. You're the only one, Param. Thank you for being here. Otherwise, no, uh, Kamal, uh, even, uh, yeah, Kamal, even when you said that light is right, is something that I'm going to just imbibe it. You know, I have to, I'm going to just imbibe that, you know, feeling light is right. That's so simple. But we want to make life so difficult, so such a struggle. For what reason? And whenever, whenever I'm feeling, uh, you know, uh, heavy or when I'm feeling uncomfortable, uh, this uh, works like magic that all of five comes to me with these joint glory. That is like magical. You know, I, I'm so much calm and composed by just saying this. That's why we say uh, 10 times in the morning and 10 times in the evening minimum. You can use it anytime. You can say it anytime to come back to you. That is what I think this means, come back to you is. Bring your energy back into yourself without your judgments. Either I, I, all of life comes to me with ease, joy and glory. That's what I suppose it is. Awesome. <clears throat> Kindness is, is a generative energy. I have discovered after traveling the world and working with thousands of people that kindness is what's required to move beyond judgment, beyond abuse, and beyond limitations. And I feel kindness is an interesting point of view. You cannot fight with... You have an interesting point of view. Here, somebody can say, Come on, what are you talking? You're talking shit. That would probably take my hackles up. We are at 63%, darling. But if you say, Come on, you have an interesting point of view, will it, will it trigger anything in me? Kindness, I think, is allowance also. And allowance is an interesting point of view. Everybody is, is allowed to live on the planet. Yes. You must go uh, on the net and see, I'm sure most of you must have seen also, the animal world. When the lion wants food, you just go and hunt one without any point of view. And most cases, they hunt somebody who's sick who can't run because the one who can run, they will not be able to catch. Yeah. And when they are full up, anybody can be playing around them. They don't have any problem. The bird might be sitting here. The cat might be climbing on it. There might be somebody you see. It's so beautiful to see that online. Will we make that wrong for what reason? So she uses the roar word, which I love. Do you want to be like a lion who roars or you want to be like a cat who mews? Who closes his eyes when there is some trouble coming up? Do you want to face it head on 
and choose you? Yeah. Or make yourself wrong? It must be wrong because it's easy. It has to be tough to be right every way you think that. Isn't that insane? But that's the way we are living our lives. Unless you want to, you are willing to live. Yeah. Can you share? Yes, please. Even I really wanted to see, speak, tell Gary also that even without, just with the bars, just your knowing your knowing, like, you know, and with this guy, Sahil, who was a fourth stage of cancer, and what what cured him, like, you know, because he was willing to receive. Second, when I asked him questions, you know, when I gave, and from my heart, and you said, you are walking, talking God, you know, I said, my God, when people actually, when they gave him bars, and he received his open hands, he asked me questions, I asked him questions, and I knew that what he wanted to hear, let me just close the door, please. When I asked him question that would you like you want to live, he says yes. Then he, he wanted to hear, you know, I'm talking different. He asked, are you psychologist? I said yes. I knew that he wanted to hear that. And it was just willingness to live and uh, by asking my questions. And one and a half a session, you know, I mean, gave him such a relief. And one so session and the person has no cancer. How does it get any better yeah, than that? Yeah. And seven months about me. And then he was on the phone with me. Whenever a doctor says you will die, and I would ask him after him two or three, you'll die because there's, there's only 20% you can live and you'll waste a lot of your money. I said, don't uh, listen to this stupid doctor. Then don't talk to him. You want to die? Okay, done. You want to live? Yes, madam, I want to live. I said, then listen to Then don't say doctor. Listen to yourself. And the people started saying in the village that Iski jo mere paas banda kaam karte, madam to God. Hai. But the Bhavan, as you just said, you're walking, talking, dog. And just when you know, knowing, like actually, you know, and this guy, yeah. and the report is now negative, and he's playing, I mean, his body puri turned curvy, he's playing basketball, started gaining weight, legs straight, hogi jo teri hogi thi. Just that, you know, I said, no, you were you there to receive, you yourself told yourself. You never listen to the doctors. You see? Awesome. So beautiful. Yeah. So this is a, a gift of access, you know. Thank you, thank you, Param. Thank you so much. Kindness is a generative energy. I have discovered after traveling the world and working with thousands of people that kindness is what's required to move beyond judgment, beyond abuse, and beyond limitation. This generative energy is what creates a new life filled with energy of expansion. As an exercise, take a moment to imagine what would occur in 50 years on this planet if you chose kindness? What would occur if you release the victim story and choose the, chose the path of empowerment? What would occur if you release the armor and chose the potency of vulnerability. What, guys, when I'm reading these questions, don't go into, we usually go into, because that's the energy I perceive, go into where I'm doing it, where I'm not doing it, I'm not doing it. Again, that is abuse. Again, that is going into the wrongness. Just ask these questions with no point of view. Repeatedly keep asking these questions with no point of view, and you will get the awareness. We are not looking to make ourselves right or wrong, guys. So ask these questions. Put them on a paper and put, put them where you can see them every morning. At the end, she says, I do this myself. Every day I sing these questions. What would occur if you release the armor and chose the potency of vulnerability? Would disease disappear? Would conflict ease? Would you be happy? How would the energy of expansion open you up to the world of new possibilities? There is a life beyond abuse, beyond a cage that keeps you small and important. Do you want to choose that? 
I was in Al Anon for 19 years because there was alcoholism at home. You could catch me talking like that then, probably not. I was hiding. I wouldn't allow myself to say that to people. It fucked up my life. But was I willing to go beyond it or I was living in that cage of people will know. And surprisingly, everybody knows. You think you are hiding. But everybody knows. If you are not willing to change the past, then you do things like that. If you want to change, if you want to go beyond, have no secrets. How many of us are refusing to change? Us. To find out how to get everything you want in life. Can you get everything in your life if you are where you are? I am like this. But I need this too, this too, this too, this too. I don't give it. It's bad, it's bad, it's bad, my love is bad, my love is bad, I don't get it. But I won't say it, I won't change it. Why do I do this? Why do I do this? Why do I do this? Choice creates. Choice. So get yourself off that, please. You don't have to, there is a life beyond abuse, beyond the cage that keeps you small and impotent. You don't have to be young as I was at seven, starting at the moon, staring at the moon, dreaming of life beyond abuse to begin to use the tremendous pull of energy of expansion. It works for everyone, no matter where you are. Your age of 63 or your age of 7, you're at young, you're 14, or wherever you are, you can start from there. Choose from there. All that's required is for you to choose to play with it. And that's what the next chapter is all about. Anything else you people got, want me to read, guys? So are you willing to let go of all the judgments for your, of yourself and of others? What will happen? Okay, what will happen if you let go of it? If you become aware, you ask a question, what would it take for me to be aware 24-7? As to what is conscious and what can I choose next that will create a life that I desire? What will happen? What do you think? What do you fear will happen? Let's come out with that. Nobody wants to come out with that. Merger, merger. <laughs> or come on, somebody is like, shit, we make it so real. You know, I have a, this maid, she came yesterday crying. I said, what happened? She says, I told her to go to my house, I told her to go to my house, I told her to go to my house, get out. I said, what is it? She said, I was very grieved. So I was working for her for 6 years. I said, you don't have any other house? You don't have any other house? She said, I don't think so. And I said, then you want to go there? She said, I don't want to go there. I don't want to go there. It's a choice. If you have the same experience in my house, you have a choice to leave my house. That lady got so empowered. After six years, today morning, she sent a message, I'm not coming. You know, because she got another house also. I said, it's a choice. Yeah. It means that we take something to buy, you know. और पता ही नहीं क्या मूव कर सकते हैं इतना रोना भी इतना पता नहीं क्राइम पर उधर गाए कि मुझे क्राइम अपना आप होगा कुछ भी अंदर अंदर का उस होगा पर इस जस्ट वन लाइन वन सेंटेंस वन क्वेश्चन मेक्स चेंजेस ऑफ़ द पर्सन्स या एक्चुअली गाइस इट डजन्ट मैटर व्हाट यू डू व्हाट यू बी व्हाट यू क्रिएट because there's always something right about that. What is this? What can I do about this? Can I change it? How can I change it? What's right about this I'm not getting? Universe, show me something beautiful today. 
और कमल यूर डेट सेंटेंस मेरा इस साइड मेरा शीशा टूट गया यू नोट से थोड़ा मैडम दस हजार शीशा टूट गया मैंने कुछ नहीं कहा उतने मेरे कमाई के पैसे नहीं दे रहे अगर एक्सेस ना होता मैं नहीं Manisha, you must have read. You have underlined anything? Mamta, why are you chupping today? I will be chupping. All say I will be chupping. Can I ask a question? Yes, please. Uh, yeah. So when I ask a question, I open up my awareness. that's the purpose i you know i ask a question so that i get more aware and then i get to choose something uh, that would create fun or happiness or something but i have seen that there is this resistance to be aware all the time so uh, where is that coming from i was wondering there was a very beautiful uh, thing about resistance i had underlined i thought i will Uh, read it out to you let me see where it is it was at the end when you resist what happens so what is resistance is it coming from fear is it coming from not acknowledging you is it coming from doubt all all of them so you would live in that for what reason mm-hmm. isn't it a choice yes mm-hmm. how much pain in your body is the result of the uh resistance how much this is do we create because of resistance does it work for our to our advantage what if instead of resistance you actually used out mm, uniqueness what if everything that in your life comes to you and you put a barrier to it and you resist it rather than rather than being willing to see what it offers what is it presenting to you what's right about this what, what can i how can i use it to my advantage advantage what can i receive from it what can you receive from it i got holding it. on to your point of view is that working for you no so let's choose something that is light and bright yeah thank you you're welcome is resistance comforting to you it's not comforting the thought of being aware all the time uh it might be a point of view i borrowed it feels like at work all the time are you picking up everybody else's point of view oh so much <laughs> so where you would not be aware for what reason if somebody just comes and uh, say something to you and you cut off your awareness you don't even know where that person is coming from you are you judging that person you're judging yourself rather than being aware where he is coming from i or she is coming from bye bye mm. yeah that's what i'm going to do 
Yeah. What could you choose that works for you? Mm. Rather than being a, in resistance all the time. Resistance is no fun. And the purpose of life is to have fun. Light is right. Light is fun. Light is true for you. Light is magic. So amazing. Uh, I got present to today that, you know, these are the basic ones, actually, the basic tools and the basics of life. And I I shut that part, that awareness, and then I'm working on the so-called issues and problems. Just and ask, like, is it mine or somebody else's? That's a simple yeah. question. You don't want life to be ease, joy, glory, right? <laughs> I choose it now. I choose it now. <laughs> no, that's uh, what I'm saying. So I work on the so-called issues and problems and I'm like, why is this not shifting? Wherein, you know, I have... Why is not a question. <laughs> yeah, correct, correct. So, <laughs> got it, got it. We do resistance as choice. Nothing else. Hmm. But there should be point of views, no? which lead to uh, deciding it's better to resist. Yeah, yeah. Mm. always, always. Mm. I have to go to work because I have to pay my bills. And also, I, ha- I used to always, it's way better now, I don't have the thought process. I would always think, you know, from somewhere I should just get a lump sum of money and then I'll put it in my bank and, you know, I'll never have to do anything again. <laughs> Would you would you would you be would you be having fun doing nothing? No, I would definitely have fun doing a lot of things actually. Yeah. No, I'm talking about that energy, that energy of not being aware and uh, retiring. Yeah. Retiring from life. You yeah. know, I don't have to do anything. So that that's the energy that I was coming from. Manisha, no, we couldn't hear you, Manisha. Yeah, really. It's amazing how we function. <laughs> and when once you start to look at it, you get so much of freedom. You can just go have fun at your work. Who's stopping you? You. <laughs> yeah. Or leave it. Or leave it. Or choose something else. That's that something be- else. Yeah, wow. or manipulate your way. You got so many tools. Correct. Yeah, we're not trained to, uh, you know, look at you know, go to work and have fun. Okay, that work is not fun. Go somewhere else. I fun. know work and fun <laughs> don't go together, right? <laughs> in this reality, fun in this reality doesn't go with anything. You're having fun. You're bad. Yeah. You're shunning your work. You're not doing your responsibilities. But otherwise, how can you have fun? If you have responsibilities and work, you can't have fun. I used to laugh so freely and openly when I was a child. And everyone was like, you're a girl. You shouldn't laugh like I know. <laughs> if, if, even at your age, they were saying that. At my age, they used to say that. Pagal hai. Dusre din ghar aajayengi. Inki maa banengi ni. Chara, sara time hi karti rehti hai. Yeah. Yeah. So what generative energy, space and consciousness can we be that would allow us to be, do, have, create, generate anything that would allow us to have too much fun, Mm -hmm. too much money, too much ease, too much, you know, everything that brought up. I've been always told you're too much. Mm. You can't have too much in this reality. But mm-hmm. are you willing to have, guys? Yes. Walk and pod. All the shit point of view that people have about you can't. And we also think if we resist this person approaching anything for that matter, we are successful. (laughs) 
don't know where that came from. Hmm. So if you're functioning from 10 second increment, this is a beautiful tool that we have in Access. Would you would no longer have to look for the right choice. Right? Okay, not this. Now what next? What else is possible that we haven't even considered? Isme, she did not mention about what Gary says about abuse, that we choose it. Think about that too. The acknowledgement of you is a real capacity you have to change everything in your life. And change people. Look at the time when you pay change people around you. By just being you. Anything else? Anybody underlined you want to read, please? We still have two minutes. If you haven't read this book, I would recommend please read it. It somewhere sometimes gets very heavy. But if you didn't, don't put yourself in every situation, it will be light. If you don't go judging yourself, oh, I've done this, I haven't done this, it will be a light read. Because I, when I was reading it, there were times I was going into and I had to pull myself back. Oh, it's just a book. How can this book contribute to me? And it started contributing, started opening up doors. Nobody? Nippy, you didn't underline anything? Come hello, I'm getting the massage done and uh, I didn't read the book actually. So okay. I'll read it. Yeah, read it today. That's I started. We can reading. talk about it in our book club also if you have. Yeah, that will be really nice. Yeah, so. mm. If you have underlined anything. I have just Guys, today yes. downloaded it. Yeah. Okay, okay. Guys, we are starting a new book tomorrow. Lies. This is also by Lu Lisa Kuni. Lies about money. Lies of money. Yeah. Lies of money. So you can join us if any one of you likes it. Calls if it's calling to you. We do it from 8 to 9 every day. We know when to start. We don't know when to finish. It finishes when it finishes. When it wants to finish. It might take 15 days, 20 days. Maybe even more sometimes. So it's nine. I'll just stop the recording.